back. Today we're going to take a look at the Flame Stone Plate Ring. There's two routes to get this ring. The first is the Road of Sacrifices. If you've already been here, go ahead and warp to the Road of Sacrifices. Go back in the building, and we're just going to head straight on through and up the elevator. Now, this route does require ranged weaponry, so you will need a bow and arrow for this. Alright, once you're up here, exit the right front of the building, and with your bow and arrow you will look up at the right tree and there will be a corpse there with an item on it. Now, if you shoot it from just the right angle it will fall down to this area down here. However if you shoot it from the wrong angle it's going to push it back up onto the ledge. As for the alternate route, we're going to head to the Undead Settlement bonfire in the Undead Settlement. Now, this is a very specific path you're going to be taking to get this ring, and this path also leads to the mound I uh, don't even remember the name of it. It's Mound Something. Uh, like Mound Makers, I think it is. Uh, that will be for another video because uh, you have to have very specific requirements for the Mound Makers. Uh, so we're just going to head straight up the bonfire, go into the building, drop down, and head on out. When you get to the huge bonfire area out here, we're just going to run over here and take a right to the bridge. End of the bridge, you can go ahead and kill both of these guys, but we are not going in the house. Instead, we're going to roll through the barrel of the path. Now, here you will be jumped by a plenty of the little ninja assassin, you know, pricks, whatever you want to call them. I don't care where they are, they're annoying. Go ahead and wipe out all of them that you need to kill and head up the ladder. Once up here, you go down to this other roof, and then drop down to the other path over here. You'll see the guy with the cage on his back. Go ahead and take care of him. And you can see it ahead of me here on this tree hanging down is a corpse with an item on it. You cannot get the item off of the corpse while it's hanging. So if you're very careful about it, you can actually make your way around the back side of the corpse, pushing it back up onto the ledge, and then attack it. And there is your flame stone plate ring. Don't forget, if you're liking our videos, go ahead and subscribe on the next screen. I'll be here for many more Dark Souls 3 videos, so stick around.